Immortals Phoenix Rising has just released a time-limited crossover event with Blood of Zeus from Netflix. Until the 28th of January, there is a quest called A Tribute to Family, where you are tasked with defeating two evil creatures from another world, a Cerberus and a Chimera. From each creature, you will collect an item and then have to take them to the Mausoleum of Zeus, which is located in King's Peak. There, you receive an Eagle Pendant, which gives a very nice bonus. Along with the quest, there's a new character pack and weapon pack available from the online store. Now, I'm not one normally for cosmetic items, but let's take a quick look at what you can buy if you choose to do so. Okay, first up is a Armor of the Demon Guard. Looks uh, pretty fancy. And this is the Helmet of the Demon Guard. Oh, I like how it's uh, flaming along the top. Wings of the Demon Guard. Now these look pretty sweet. Um, very flashy indeed. Now this is, I don't know how to pronounce this. Edomon? Something like that. But yeah, uh, demonic looking horse. Very scary. And our uh, Phosphor of the Giants. Uh, next Phosphor looks pretty much on flames to me. And now we have the weapon pack. Contains three different weapons. This is the sword of the demon chaser. Hammer of the demon chaser. Uh, that looks pretty uh, beefy. And bow of the demon chaser. Okay, so let's get to the quest. Its description is, In a land much like this one, another hero took his stand against darkness. Everything he did paid tribute to one person, his mother. Only those on the other side can tell his story. And the objective is to talk to the other side. It just happens to be a ghost who's at the Hall of Gods. Now, this ghost doesn't actually talk, it just mumbles. So when you speak to it, you're gonna have to read the subtitles. But in this case, I'll just narrate it for you. Was he a savior of worlds, or a bad omen? A curse from above, or a blessing? The gods and the fates determine his adversities, but his mother taught him love, hope and love. Even when she was taken from him, he held on. Even in the face of gods and monsters, she would never leave his heart. Never let them take you whole. Who will you be when you face them? The first creature we have to defeat is the Cerberus.
And with that taken care of, we've received the blood of Cerberus, and our next task is to defeat the Chimera. So now we received the blue rose, and along with the vial that contains the blood of Cerberus, we had to take them to the mausoleum of Zeus. With the quest completed, you are rewarded with a pendant and some new character customization options. Before showing the bonus of the pendant, a quick look at the new appearance. You can change the shape of your face, which to be honest for my character is very hard to notice any difference. And for the new hairstyle, it's actually quite nice, looks very unique.
and now the Eagle Pendant or the Blue Stone Locket. You are granted 5% chance to strike up to 3 enemies with lightning on hit. It's similar to one of the pieces of armor you already get in game, but any bonus damage you can deal to enemies is a welcomed addition. And that's the time limited quest in conjunction with Blood of Zeus. Nice and quick to get a cool little reward. And if you completed the bonus quest from last week that granted you a white adamantine shard, it adds even more damage that your character can deliver. You can check out my guide for that quest on my channel too. I'll put a link for it in the description below. If you liked this video, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next one.